Now the first concept I'm going to talk about in probability is the addition rule. Remember that probability is about determining the likelihood of events. Now two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. Like for example, when you flip a coin, the two events, heads and tails, are mutually exclusive because you can only get heads or you can only get tails. You can't get both of them. So we can actually show that in a little Venn diagram here. There's a 50% chance of getting heads and a 50% chance of getting tails. There's no way that both of these events can occur at the same time, which is why they're mutually exclusive. But now imagine if you randomly picked a card from a deck of cards and there were two events, heart and king. Heart and king are not mutually exclusive because you can get something that's a heart or you can get something that's a king, but you can also get something that is both a king and a heart, which is a king of hearts. So like heads and tails are mutually exclusive events, heart and king are not mutually exclusive events. So if I flip a coin, what is the probability of the coin landing on heads or tails? Now this should be pretty obvious. I mean, it's going to be 100%, right? You're either going to get heads or tails. But let me show you how to do this mathematically. Remember that the probability of getting tails is 0.5 or 50%, and the probability of getting heads is 0.5 or 50%. We're going to use the addition rule for mutually exclusive events, which means that the probability of event A or event B happening is just the probability of event A plus the probability of event B. So in this case, the probability of getting heads plus the probability of getting tails, 50% plus 50% is 100%, and that makes sense. We know that if we flip a coin, it's either going to be heads or tails. So let's say when picking randomly from a deck of cards, what is the probability of choosing a card that is a heart or a king? Now remember, these events are not mutually exclusive because you can get something that is both a heart and a king. So we know that the probability of getting a heart is 13 out of 52, because there's 13 hearts in the deck, because there's four different suits. And we know that the probability of getting a king is 4 out of 52, because there's four kings in the deck of 52. Now we also know that the probability of getting something that is both a king and a heart is 1 out of 52, because there's one king of hearts in the deck. So for these non-mutually exclusive events, we have the addition rule for non-mutually exclusive events, which is the probability of A or B occurring is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of both A and B occurring. So it would look something like this. It would be the probability of getting a heart, which is 13 over 52, plus the probability of getting a king, which is 4 over 52, minus the probability of getting something that is both a king and a heart, which is 1 over 52. So you would end up with 16 over 52, or about 31%, you know, 0 0.308. So that's how you would do the addition rule for events that are not mutually exclusive. And that's it for this lecture. Remember what probability is and also know how to do the addition rule for events that are mutually exclusive and for events that are not mutually exclusive.